It's been way too long since the last Borderlands game. I actually replayed the second one earlier this year because it was pretty obvious that Gearbox would come back at one point to their premier franchise. You can by the way check out the Handsome Collection that includes the second game and also the pre-sequel via PlayStation Plus. So if you got that you can download it for free. Anyway we got to play Borderlands 3 at the 2K office in the Netherlands and it looks to be an improvement in almost every way compared to the previous titles while still being true to the linear story heavy structure that you can complete alone or with up to three friends. Let's take a look at some things that this game has to offer in this video. Would of course be awesome if you could leave a like on the video as it shows your support and let's go. Borderlands is of course all about the bazillion of guns and during the play session we picked up some awesome firepower from the different manufacturers that all have special firepower like the Atlas for example can put a tracker on the enemy that will cause your bullets to follow the target. So you can just shoot next to the enemy and the bullets will still go to that enemy. I also love the red and advanced look of this gun. Or the awesome Tor gun that is not that impressive when you just shoot the secondary bullets but when you reload these bullets actually explode dealing a ton of damage and I love how the Borderlands series triggers things when you reload your gun while in other shooters you never really think about reloading your gun in that way you just do it to get your ammo back but in Borderlands it sometimes has this extra meaning and I really like that. Another example is the Tidiori gun. Reloading means throwing your gun away but don't worry you still keep your gun but the gun you throw away will now turn into a gun with legs that will shoot the enemies and it's a pretty nice companion like I did not expect that it would be that good. The flat of weapons were awesome as well. Sometimes they have a standard grenade launcher alongside being a faster assault rifle. And we also got this awesome machine gun that apart from being a machine gun could also shoot these mini rockets onto the target. And you of course get these guns from killing the many different enemies in the game like your typical box, bandits, big robots and also this crazy brain guy for example that was one of the early bosses and dropped a ton of loot. So then you will be staring at this pile and trying to pick up the best things that are of course indicated by the rarity colors. And don't worry when you play with friends because they cannot take your loot away thanks to the new changes compared to other Borderlands games. If you want to be nostalgic though then you can always play the classic way and fight for the best loot that has dropped. And speaking of the best loot those are of course the legendary items and we already found two while playing. Playing. One was a grenade that did not explode but actually turned into a drone that was following the enemies and shooting them. So nice to keep track and have some extra damage. Although speaking of extra damage we got an enhanced gun with lags thanks to the smart gun XXL. That makes this brain robot appear upon reloading that also helps you during combat. Like this vehicle was no chance when we worked together to shoot it. So a really nice extra body to help you out. And that's what I also like about Borderlands. Like you can perfectly play alone and not feel as if you are missing out or are less powerful than with a group. One of the advantages you will miss is the fact that you cannot be revived. But because of the second wind feature you always have a chance to get back up if you kill someone during the time that you are down. But yeah, not dying is of course better and apart from the weapons and the gear, you can also enhance your character via skill points and that will be really important as well. This time the skills are more fleshed out with 3 active skills instead of 1 per character. Like for the new Siren, Amara, you can use the face slam tree for a more tanky approach where the face grabs is more focused on CC making sure that the target is stunned and cannot move for example. We could also play Sane who can use 2 active skills at a time while as far as I know all the other characters can only select 1 out of the 3. If you want 2 active skills as Zane though you have to give up your grenade so maybe if you find a great grenade you don't want to do it like the drone we showed earlier then it might be smart to settle with one active skill but it's nice that you have the option. The skills that we could use for Zane were a drone that would poke the enemies and directly after that you see us throw down the shield that you can actually also pick up to protect you from the enemies. Picking it up will also let you move with the shield so that is pretty nice. You can also throw down a clone of yourself that will then get some attention 
And it's kind of the signature move that we of course saw Zero use in the previous games as well. Amara has some awesome skills too, like this grab, so it creates an opening, for example, against this shield guy. You also got this pretty nice slam move, where the camera goes to third person and you shock the enemies that you hit. If shooting a shockwave to the enemies is more your thing, then you will likely like the face cast. Hopefully there will be a ton of ways to customize these skills so you can still make them better in different ways. And during E3 we will see another character in action, Moe's. I got an appointment to play the game there, so totally expect new gameplay and my impressions here on the channel. And there's also new Borderlands 2 rumored DLC that should bridge the gap between 2 and 3. Likely going to be announced at the Microsoft press conference on June 9th, so good times. So far the impressions from Borderlands 3 are pretty good, it's really what you want if you want more Borderlands. Maybe it's not really reinventing the wheel or anything, but on the other hand there are not a lot of games like this that are still pretty linear and focused on the story while a lot of the other games with loot are way more about doing the same activities over and over again in a more empty open world where the story is really taking the back seat. Borderlands 3 really seems to go the different way and what we saw so far has been pretty interesting so can't wait to see more of it. Subscribe for more Borderlands 3, would be awesome if you could leave a like on the video again if you haven't already. Check out my previous E3 2019 video and for now I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye!